Okay, this sermon is entitled, Spiritual Kneesy Exposed. I'd like to open up with prayer, and then with a few verses. Dear God, thank you for giving us your clear word. Thank you for allowing us to see what it says. Bless the listeners. I ask all this in Jesus' name, amen. Psalm 107 reads, Give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good, for his mercy endureth forever. Let the redeemed of the Lord say so, whom he hath redeemed from the hand of the enemy, and gather them out of the lands from the east and from the west, from the north and from the south. Now there's this guy on YouTube who has a channel entitled Spiritual Kneesy, and he has this video entitled Three Biblical Ways to Know You're Going to Heaven. And my question is, why would anyone trust some guy named Spiritual Kneesy to tell them how they can know they're going to heaven when we have the King James Bible instead? So let's take a listen to what he has to say. Here goes. So the second thing that saves us from hell is working faith. Is working faith. So notice that he said there's a second thing that saves us from hell. So I guess the first thing that saves us from hell, whatever that is, just doesn't cut it because you have to have a second thing. And then he tells us it's working faith. Last time I checked, it was Jesus Christ dying on the cross for our sins, paying our sin debt in full, basically shedding his blood and sacrificing his life for us. But according to spiritual Nisi, that doesn't save anyone. You need working faith, whatever that means. Let's take another listen to what he has to say. Here goes. So the third thing that saves us from hell is repentance and belief in the gospel, right? We got to repent and believe in the good news. They both, they go hand in hand, right? In Luke chapter 13, verse three, Jesus is preaching to a big crowd and he says, I tell you no, but unless you repent, you too all will perish, okay? So Jesus said, repent or perish, basically. What does repent mean? That means to turn away from that old sinful life, to have a change of mind that causes you to change your actions and truly regret that life that you used to live and show that you regret it by actually changing, putting forth an effort to change for God. That's true repentance. So now he's saying that there's a third thing that saves us, and it's to repent and believe the gospel. And obviously he defined repentance as turning from sins or cleaning up your life or turning over a new leaf, basically. And this will not save anyone, even if you believe the gospel, because you're not actually believing the gospel when you think that you have to turn from your sins to be saved along with two other things, and one of them being working faith. This is not trusting Christ alone at all. This is not being persuaded that what Jesus said about salvation is true. Jesus said, he that believes on me has everlasting life. He didn't say anything about having a working faith and then turning from your sins. So what we have here is an unsaved devil who doesn't have salvation, and yet he's telling the world how they can know that they're going to heaven when he himself is not even going. So now let's take a look at what the Bible says about the one condition for salvation. Turn over to John chapter 3. It reads in verse 18, He that believeth on him is not condemned, but he that believeth not is condemned already, because he hath not believed in the name of the only begotten Son of God. The Bible is clear on this. You either believe on Jesus Christ to not be condemned and to escape hell and to have everlasting life, or you don't. And people like this young Jeezy or spiritual Neezy or whatever he's called, this gangsta thug, who has no business preaching the gospel, he obviously doesn't believe on Jesus Christ to not be condemned. And he's going straight to hell, and he's nothing more than a false prophet who needs to be marked and avoided. That's all I have. Let me go ahead and close in prayer. Dear God, thank you for giving us your clear word. Thank you for allowing us to see what it says. Bless the listeners. I ask all this in Jesus' name. Amen.